guys, I'm on my way to this place called Gibbs Country Store. Once again, a lot of Mississippi is very rural, but this place supposedly has the best steaks like in the state of Mississippi is what I've heard. Um, it's world famous and also it's in this like shack of a country store. So uh, when I get there, I'll let you see, you know, what the outside looks like. And then, uh, you know, I'll let you know how the steak is. It's a long ways to go for a steak. And I don't see any stores or anything on these roads. And I've been driving for like, I don't know, close to 20 miles now. Like what happens if you break down out here? I mean, does AAA even come down here? I mean, guys, look, nothing. No! Oh! Still nothing, guys. I mean, talk about rural, nothing. But beautiful, though. It's great to see a unspoiled landscape free of commercial structures. So guys, I'm, I'm not at the country store with the stakes, but I'm parking and uh, obviously there's a stately mansion. I found, I'll find out what that is in a little bit with a uh, Confederate statue. You guys, here's what that uh, stately building that I sh showed you earlier what it is pretty cool that place right there rare records CDs and tapes and music memorabilia so you know I'm definitely checking that place out Okay guys, this is where uh, the steakhouse is, not these buildings, but this road. So there's our steakhouse right there. It's the best in Mississippi. There it is guys, that's Americana right there. That is the best right there. There it is guys, I hear this is the best steak in Mississippi, so I'm gonna go eat. Guys, this place is awesome. It's literally like an old country store from like the 1920s, the 1930s. I love it. Okay, guys and gals, uh, Gibson Sons Country Store uh, Steakhouse. It's a little bit out of the way. It's a lot out of the way from where I was coming from. Uh, it's in a rural area. But I'm telling you, the best steak I ever had, literally amazing. I had a sweet potato with the fixings that could have passed as dessert. It was a great atmosphere filled with, uh, you know, period antiques. I mean, guys, this is a country store from the 1920s and 30s that's still standing and is a restaurant. Uh, you guys got to go, man, because it's good stuff.